Somebody says they're my fan at this point. <laughs> to get me to the show. Lisa Marie Presley's got something to say. I'm just throwing a record here. But no one seems to be listening. How about Michael Jackson and Nick Cage? How about Nick Cage? Nicholas Cage. Right? I gotta ask you about Michael Jackson. For the press, news of her second album is just another chance to pray on her past. Probably shouldn't have gotten married. Wow, you're like something. No, this is not the record. And Lisa Marie's afraid her music will get lost in the mix. The irony of the whole thing is the single that sounds, and it goes over everyone's head. Can she rise above the dirty laundry? They try and make it seem that they're going to ask you about the record and never use any of that in the actual interview. Do you like any Michael Jackson's family? What about Tito? Or will she be buried by it? What am I putting myself in this room? Now, step into the shoes of the ultimate tabloid baby. You told me this morning that everything's been stopped on the MJ questions. And witness the daughter of the king fight to make her voice heard. You're Alice Presley's daughter. How can you even compete with something like that? This is Lisa Marie Presley from the inside out. What's the one question you hate that everyone asks you all the time? That you're like so over that you wish no one would ask you ever again? I'm on camera because there's a, a record out and I have to promote it. Well, what's it like trying to get a career going in music when you have all this other BS going on? But their thinking is like, I've got you on camera, so I'm going to act like I like the record. I'm looking at some of the other tasks that will be on this TV in April. But I'm going to ask you these sensationalistic, stupid, old, tired, ass questions. Where do we start? Is what was the question I had. You did have kind of a high-profile marriage over here. Everything questions. Does Michael deserve all that? I got lost in trying to explain my personal life and my little ventures that I had to take here and there that got a lot of publicity. I just had this inner angst to have my own thumbprint in the world besides just being a descendant. Do you realize yourself that as much as you may want to be your own person and break away, the resemblance to your dad sometimes is pleasantly eerie? There's a large frying pan that people like to see your ass burn on. This is a deep, probing interview. You better get ready. <laughs> you know, as much as they like to see you do well, they like to see you come down. I kind of got into this, like, what am I putting myself through this for? This is insane. But in the end, the music spoke. I keep being told, you need to write a song that's identifiable and people need to connect with you. And I'm like, this whole record identifies me. Presley's daughter. It's like, how can you even compete with something like that? You know what, though? I mean, that was a big mountain for me to climb. But when I was on the road and I saw who the fans were that were filling up the place, they knew who I was. I did make a fan base of people who actually liked me for who I was, not for me trying to be anything else. Right. Which made it worthwhile for me to continue. I'm going to have to do some promotion. I understand that you have to do that, but I, I'm having to answer questions about my personal life or why I did this or, you know, whatever fascinates people, um, which tends to go off the subject of a, of a record and the music itself. This week we're taping all the big TV that'll air in the week of release. And then we get to New York and we'll do a couple different photo shoots. She's going to go to various different radio stations when we're there. And then we'll be back here, you know, for some in-store signings and, you know, various different things. But it's definitely the ramping up for Street Week. Yeah, maybe she should get there at 1030 and start it there as well. Right. I don't think that interviews are Lisa's favorite thing to do or ever have been. As far as photo shoots go, it's probably worse than interviews, I'd say. How are you going to let someone know that you have a record if you're not in a magazine having had your picture taken or whatever it is? Because, you know, you can make a record and it can be amazing, but if nobody hears it, then... So I think that she gets that that's part of, you know, promoting it. Last time she had to answer, you know, 10 million questions about all these things that people were very curious about. She's prepared for it, but I think at the same time, it's nerve-wracking. video is debuting at number 16 on much more music in Canada. Cool. The picture's good in the LA Times. I'm always worried about them because they don't do much, you know? But I think it came out well. Okay, what's bad out there that you're not telling me that you're hiding? <laughs> nothing. There's actually nothing bad that I'm hiding. Truthfully, I wouldn't tell you, I guess, if I was hiding it, but still, there's nothing <laughs> that I'm hiding. She tries to not tell me 
bad article, bad review, bad blah, 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 bad picture, doctored photo on the cover, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But everything's been good. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that won't last, darling, and you know it. Something good came out, a good review, all 15 bad ones are coming, I know it. Have you been following the on my class for a little? I have not. I'm just doing a record here. What's your relationship like with your exes? Do you like any Michael Jackson's family? Do you get to hang out with Janet? What about Tito? Yes. <laughs> Over it. You're right, though, that last time and this time you put your record out, and he's in trouble. The irony of the whole thing is the single that's out, and it goes over everyone's head. SOB said about Nick Cage. Marriage with uh, Nicolas Cage, everything is good now again. Right? We got the flow ahead of Bleach Blonde, comes on at five. No, this is natural. When you kiss Michael Jackson on MTV, that was the The daughter of the king of rock and roll is going to share her dirty laundry with me, right? Yeah. So the thing is, this, none of this is about the record. This is about them getting their stuff. This is about them getting their stuff. Why did I ask something wrong? And what does making music mean to you? I mean, I can't just make music. I, mean, I, you know, I have to go out and like talk about whatever the hell else uh, people are interested in. They try and make it seem that they're going to ask you about the record and blah, blah, blah. And they never use any of that in the actual interview. I'm just trying to move forward and take a step and evolve as an artist. Do you still believe in his innocence as you were supportive of that? I am done now. I, mean, I, tried to, I thought you guys said no more of that. This is the only one that we could want to be a way before. Oh, see, somebody should have told me that because I wasn't ready. You told me this morning that everything's been stopped on the MJ questions. Right. So I assumed it was today, too. Anyway, that threw me. I wasn't ready for that because I thought it was over. Coming up, Lisa Marie makes music with her ex and her lover. Lisa and Michael are a couple. One of the nicest things about Michael is that he has no problem whatsoever with Danny, who's the father of her kids. And later... Michael Jackson. I'm not going to answer them. Ms. Presley runs out of patience with the press. Wow, you're like something. <laughs> This summer. Chevy dealer before August 1st. I have music. I love movies so much. Bright idea was that I have to sing the high harmony as the lead. Okay. Michael Locker. Lisa and Michael are a couple. Michael's her musical director. It's great because she has this, what I can see is probably the happiest relationship that she's ever had. We've always had the work relationship there. Um, we pretty much are together, I swear to God, 24 7. We literally exercise together, eat together, work together, you know, everything is together. One of the nicest things about Michael, but about their relationship, is that he has no problem whatsoever with Danny, who's the father of her kids. Big Dan, what are you doing over there? You are attached to the text messaging. He's trying to stay busy. <laughs> He's very Big busy. Big Dan has a girlfriend. Danny and me, we're in, like an eternal, unconditional brother and sister. It's basically what we are. And Michael is the only, you know, he really understands that and, and is not insecure about it in any way. It was so natural when Danny came into the band. I never really thought about the fact that Danny is Lisa's ex-husband. I look at him more as the father to the kids. I love Michael. He's an amazing guy we get along great mm -hmm. i don't know exactly how it happened it just did and it is really cool we're best friends and actually michael and him are really tight too oddly enough we're exes but we're really tight and we can still work together and we raise our kids together and it kind of sends a cool message out there which i think is important 